Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Jisa. I am so happy that you joined me today. We start a new life cycle this week, and it is the life cycle of a ribbit, ribbit. That's right, the life cycle of a frog. So today's story is called A Frog's Life. It's written by Nancy Dickman. All living things have a life cycle. Frogs have a life cycle. A tadpole hatches from an egg. It grows into a frog. A female frog lays eggs. The life cycle starts again. A female frog lays eggs in a pond. The eggs are called spawn. Each egg has a tadpole inside. A tadpole hatches from the egg. A tadpole has a tail. The tadpole lives in a pond. The tadpole eats plants to grow. Soon, the tadpole starts to grow legs. Soon, the tadpole has four legs. The tadpole grows into a frog. When the frog is grown, it uses its strong legs to jump. The frog catches insects with its tongue. The frog also eats worms and spiders. A female frog lays eggs in a pond. The life cycle starts again. Let's review the life cycle of a frog. It starts when the female frog lays the eggs. Then a tadpole hatches from the eggs. The tadpole grows legs, and then the tadpole becomes an adult frog, and the life cycle starts over again. Now, let's go label the frog. All right, little scientists, let's label the parts of a frog. Now, before we start, is a frog a mammal? No. Is a frog a bird? Definitely not. Is a frog a reptile? Nope. Frog is an amphibian. So I'm going to take my little word and match it. Amphibian. And I'm going to find my frog label. All right. Well, I always like to start at the top, so we know that that's the frog's head. So we can put head right there. And Part of the head is the eye, right? So we can put the eye right there. Um, the body of the frog is here, the whole body. And the four legs are here. Those are the front legs. And frogs have webbed feet because they live in water, right? In ponds and such. So they need webbed feet. And the final label is the hind legs, which means the back legs. So you can do this activity at home. You can cut out the words and you can keep this on your shelf and practice over and over again with it. If you enjoyed our read aloud and our activity, give me a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe so that you find out about our next lesson. We'll see you soon. Bye.